Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install Simple Trainer for GTA 5. What Simple Trainer is, is a trainer that's inside your game that you're going to install that will allow you to change the weather up, change the time up. You could change your weapons up, put custom attachments on them, customize your vehicles, and also put God Mode on and get rid of wanted levels. But we are going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it, then we'll show you how to use it once we get inside GTA 5. just want to thank each and every single one of you for stopping by if you are new to the channel definitely consider hitting that subscribe button hit that notification bell and smash that like button help this channel out and i'm gonna help you install simple trainer one of the best trainers out there barry of bugs is the one that got me on this trainer i've seen him use it so i use it because barry of bugs is the best but we are going to go ahead and click like on this right here you got to click like on simple trainer because this thing is amazing and what we're going to do is we're going to click download so let's go and click download I'm going to go ahead and let that download. It says download block for me right here. For some reason, I have no clue, but I am going to go ahead and allow it to go ahead and download. And what we're going to do is go ahead and let that download right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and we're going to go ahead and open the file up. So we're going to have Trainer V right here. So what you guys want to do on Trainer V is you guys want to go to your GTA 5 main directory. If you guys do not know where your GTA 5 main directory is, what you want to do is open Steam up. Okay, so go to Steam. You're going to go over here to Steam Library. You're going to go Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, hit manage, go browse local files. I'll pull up your GTA 5 main directory. So make sure you guys are in your GTA 5 main directory. Make sure you're not clicked on anything. If you are clicked on stuff like I am on the mods folder, just click over here to the right. What you're going to do is you're going to pull this download up right here. You're going to have two files in here that you want to drag and drop trainerv.ini and trainerv.asi. You're going to take these two files right here, drag and drop into your GTA 5 main directory. Okay. And again, Take these two files right here, drag and drop over there into your GTA 5 main directory. I'm going to replace them due to the fact I already have them in. So let's, let me go ahead and replace them for you guys. Okay, we can exit out of that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to download Script Hook V. I would leave the links down in the description for each download that you guys are going to download. And there's only going to be two Simple Trainer and Script Hook V, okay? You need Script Hook V for Simple to Trainer to work. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and download Script Hook V. And like I said, I'll leave the links down in the description for you guys. So you guys should just scroll down, hit the links, and make it easier for you. And it'll bring you right over to these pages. What you're going to do on Script Hook V's download page, you're going to go down here and click download right here. And we're going to click download, and we're going to go and open that file up. Just like so. And we are going to go inside the bin folder. So you see a bin folder right here. We're going to go inside that bin folder. And what we're going to do is pour GTA 5 main directory back up. Okay, if you guys did close out of it, all you guys got to do is, again, go to Steam, Steam Library, right-click on Grand Theft Auto 5, go to Manage, and go to Browse Local Files. It'll pull up your GTA 5 main directory. Make sure you clicked over here to the right. You're going to take this. So we're going to go inside the bin folder right here. We're going to take these three files, drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory, just like so. So I'm going to drag and drop over here, replace files in destination, just like so. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we're going to open up GTA 5. So I'm going to go ahead and open up GTA 5 and we're going to go hop in the game and I'll be right back and we'll show you guys how to work Simple Trainer inside your GTA 5. Now that we are inside GTA 5, I'm going to show you how to open Simple Trainer up. What you guys want to do is hit F3. So go ahead and hit F3 and F3 you will see right here you have a menu up in the left hand corner of your screen. If you guys have a numpad to the right side of your keyboard, you guys can use the numpad and press 8 to go up. You can press 2 to go down, 4 to go left, and 6 to go right, and 5 to be able to click on what you want. So we go down here to time. If you guys do not have the numpad over there, you can also use controller. I'm going to Xbox controller, and I'm going to use the keypad, and I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go down. You guys can do that. So you can press up to go up, down to go down. You can press A to go in. So if you guys are using the numpad, you guys can go to time right here. You guys could switch your time up. So we go from noon, we go afternoon, we could go evening, and we could go nighttime right here. Okay, so you can change your time up. You guys can also freeze time. If you don't want it to move, you can uh, freeze your game if you want to also. And we can go ahead and go back, and we could go to weather. You guys could change it where you do snow. So it could be snowy out. You guys can do blizzard just like that. You guys can do thunder if you want it to storm or you could just go extra sunny just like so all right you have options right here so you guys could go god mode so no one can kill you so you go and do god mode you can also do never wanted or you can increase your wanted level you guys can do no pets, no cars, no trains. There's so much stuff in here. You can also add $100,000 each time. So add money. 
There's a hundred thousand. Here's another hundred thousand. We can add so much money. You guys can go in here and go to vehicle spawning. So you see right there, vehicle spawning. I'm gonna hit five. And if you guys want to go back, you can hit zero on your keyboard. Okay, so hit zero to go back. But you could press a vehicle spawning, just like so. And you guys, I'm gonna go to add on added vehicle menu. So I just did a showcase a video, a tutorial to show you how to install add-on vehicles, and it's gonna be the same vehicles I'm about to spawn. Um, so I'm going to go to added vehicle menu right here. You guys could just go through here and any vehicle you want to spawn. I could spawn a police car right now. So we go police cruiser. Um, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to added vehicle menu. Okay. So we're going to go here down to the bottom added vehicle menu. And I'm going to go ahead and spawn in a, let me go ahead and spawn in this Camaro right here. Okay. So I'm going to have this Camaro right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the color up on the Camaro and just make it look different. So all you guys got to do is go to vehicle options right here. Click on vehicle options. You could go God mode with vehicle options right there. You can also go to God mode settings and make it where auto repair, all kinds of stuff. You could just change your settings up. You can keep it clean too so it doesn't get dirty. You can go in here, fixed vehicle. You could clean vehicle. You could change the plate menu up. You can also go into mod menu right here and you could change up. The engine, uh, I mean, so much stuff. The front bumpers, all kinds of stuff. You can make the engine faster. You can put brakes all the way up. Transmission to the highest upgrade. You guys can go ahead and lower the vehicle down. So we can lower the vehicle down. So you see it move right there. I'm going to lower it all the way down. And then we can also go in here. And you guys could put window tint on it if you want. So just like so. Some add-on vehicles will not allow you to do that. But we could go color menu right here. So we could go and change the color of the Camaro just like this or we can go over here down to random you could just have a random setting on it you know just make random colors um, up for you whatever you like and we could just switch through there you could, guys could see also if you look at the the wheels right there some wheels will not change colors. some wheels will uh, change colors just depends on the creator but we are gonna go ahead and so we have that right there so you can also go to vehicle options and you could click six so if you click six it will take you over to another page so you see we're on this page right here and then we'll switch over to six just like that and you guys can go over here and set engine torque multiplier you could change it up if you want and then go ahead and enable that or you could do power multiplier and you guys can go ahead and enable that right there you guys can flip vehicle unfreeze vehicle freeze vehicle vehicle collision there's so much stuff in here and the coolest part about this is is teleporting so you guys can go ahead and hit the start menu just like this and teleport anywhere that you want on the map okay so you don't have to drive there so if we want to go all the way over to humane labs all we got to do is basically just click right there set a waypoint hit f3 go to teleporting and go to teleport to waypoint so you see that right there teleport to waypoint and look at this now we're at the humane labs also this is another cool thing about teleporting go down here to other teleports so you see where it says other teleports click on that go down to where it says enable mp maps go ahead and enable that right there and now you guys can go ahead and go to the new dlc multiplayer uh, for online maps okay so we have right here we have the newest one which is the uh tuner garage so we could go to that right there and you guys could see we are now inside the tuner garage or you guys can go to you guys could go over here and oh, we got car meet right here so we got car meet where we can be inside the car meet or we can go over to Keo Perico I believe that's how they say it and we can go to that map right there and look at that perfect simple trainer is amazing you guys just got to go through there and see what you like what you want to do all that good stuff like i said you could change the color of your vehicles like we did you can upgrade your vehicle set different wheels on it like on this vehicle right here i could go to mod menu and i can go to change wheel type and we can go to as long as this vehicle allow me we could change the wheels up so right there you see we got benny's uh, originals right here and we could just change the wheels up on there we could put some chrome wheels on there all that good stuff and uh so you guys see right there and what we're gonna do is so you see all that i'm gonna do vehicle spawning again i'll show you uh, a couple other add-on vehicles that i put in so this is the 2021 camaro you got the 2020 wide body dodge charger right there and then we also have the ford bronco so i just did a tutorial to show you guys how to install these add-on vehicles 
So make sure you guys go check that tutorial out. Um, you guys have Simple Trainer in there so you guys can actually skip a step in that tutorial and uh, help you guys put some new custom add-on vehicles inside your game. Hey, thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed this and this is gonna, you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this, definitely smash that like button. really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one. And remember, guys, I have tons of tutorials on this channel to show you how to install anything your heart desires for GTA 5. Just remember, guys, you cannot take any of these mods online. If you do, you will get banned. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Thank you all for coming by and watching. You guys stay blessed. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace.